Room 013. Welcome. Settle down now. So I see you. Hey, hey. Calm down. Settle down. Settle down. Hey, hey. Hey, I love you too. So quiet now. <laughs> this is what they got this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the one and only JR, aka Manager 13. And you're now tuned in to a brand spanking new episode of the Room 013 podcast, season three. We are back in full effect. I told you, with the months leading up to this date, we was going to come harder than ever. Pause. Um,. And yeah, what a Royal Rumble went down last night. And it's only fitting that today's episode is called Royal Return Season 3, Episode 1. I got a couple special guests coming on the show today. I got a couple special guests. You know I could not start off the season without some special guests. The one and only. Big Matt the Fortnite God. And Greg. Oh, you better believe it's gonna be an action packed episode. The hotline will be open for discussion, so if you want to call in during this live video stream, the number is 1614-1. That's 1614-1. You can also email room 13 pockets at gmail.com to have your questions or message read on a future episode. All right. Room 013. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your MC for the evening. For your listening pleasure, the very beautiful... Let's go. Room two, room two, room two, room two. Oh, man, Matt, how the hell are you, bro? You, you all right, man? You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, what's hey, going man, on, man. Greg? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I do appreciate the time you're taking out for this. Yeah, man. Any time. The, the Royal Rumble, who did you think was going to win? Or who did you, like, even cared for? I like, like, cared who won. Oh, I have to say, I have to say I always stick with my girl Alexa Bliss. She's she's hands down. But I was I was really hoping that uh, Rhea Ripley was going to take it. And um, some of the other uh, podcasts I watch or listen to, I should say, uh, was all they were all going Bianca Belair. So I was kind of like, it's going to be Ripley and, and Belair going to be the last two because that's what makes sense. And I'm not a fan of uh, Charlotte at all anymore. Uh, so I, I saw the three of them, and they go, "Oh, don't screw us over now!" And then they eliminate her. Yes, and, and, finally get her uh, out. I started to get really happy uh, with uh, the two of them being the uh, the final two girls in the ring, and uh, I, I'm happy with Bianca Belly. I just feel really bad for Ripley because I feel like she keeps getting right to where. Uh, we all want her to be, and the possibility of that championship, and then uh, someone comes in just like. Pulls it right out from under her. I didn't really care who won. I'm glad Bianca won. But my yeah. problem with it was, like, the way it was telegraphed. Like, the problem that I had was, like, and I saw it clearly at the end of it when fucking, when she was about to clothesline Rhea. Mm-hmm. The problem was Rhea fucking jumped. And you could see her jump. And I was like, that gave her the fuck away. I was like, nah, you fucked up. You ruined mm-hmm. that moment for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she did, like, hop up a little bit. Yeah. She and pushed she, the rope like, down, jumped up a bit, and made yes. it so much easier. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, just let her fucking clothesline your ass hard and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because she's taller than her. So, I mean, like, if she would have just did that, the force, she wouldn't have enough force. I don't know. Look, she, she could have drop kicked her. I would have believed it more. Yeah, 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 true. true. 
Uh, I'm, I'm glad she won. She, she mm-hmm. first, she, she came out there as number one. I'm glad she won no, last she, year. No, she, she came, came out, out as three. three. Yeah. Last year, she came out as three, I think, as well. Mm-hmm. I'm not too sure. I think she's, she came out as three, though. But, you know, I'm happy she won the last man standing match for the Universal title. How did you feel about that match? Did you enjoy it from beginning to end? Uh, it was a it was a spot after spot after spot after spot. Uh, I gotta say I'm falling off with Roman a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Halfway through that was my uh, go get a new bottle of water <laughs> <laughs> break for me. Uh, I gotta say I I love the work that Kevin Owens does, and I love most of the stuff Roman has done, especially now that he's a heel. Uh, and this match was. I know what they're trying to do is they're trying to build these small things for Roman and they're going to do something big at Mania for him. I just don't know what it is, but this was a really good match because it lets you take these two guys, one who's a brawler, one who's a powerhouse, and and just let them beat the crap out of each other. What pissed me off was when the referee stopped counting, bro. Yeah. I was like, yo, because yo. fucking Paul Heyman's fat ass hands can't get a fucking yeah, yeah. I'm like, come on. It was, it was definitely uh, to quote, um, to quote uh, Brandon Cutler over on AEW, a bunch of spot monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> it was <laughs> uh, spot after spot. Yeah, the uh, the golf cart one that took me by surprise. I was like, that wow, was like funny. it just. Yeah, this, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a whole lot of memes from that shit. But... I, I got to say, every time I see someone do something with a golf cart, I, I, I don't want to keep... I know this is a WWE thing. I just keep going right back to Stadium Stampede. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I completely <laughs> thought about that, too. <laughs> there, there's a handful of things that WWE will do, and it's just like, didn't I see that three, four weeks ago or <laughs> whatever? You know, do your thing. If it works yeah. for you, it works for you. But uh, back, but to get back to the match, uh, yeah, no, I I thought it was like so. The parts of it which I did watch was great. I, I love I love Paul Heyman. He's definitely uh, he's definitely you're going to be your top hype man. And just the whole lead up to this match has been really good. And uh, oh yeah, I I thought it was good. I thought it was a good overall match. I lo- I think it was at a good part in the card where. Um, it kind of hypes you up for all the action coming after. Um, and I, I think that it's one of those things they could end it with the loss for Kevin Owens. Or it can continue into something else at, um, uh, what's the next, Fast Lane or something like that. Yeah. They could do something else. I just, I'm just really looking forward to what, Rain, what they're going to give Reigns to do at Mania, who they're going to put him with, if it's going to be uh, not to jump too far forward, but if it's going to be Edge and Roman, or if it's going to be Edge mm-hmm. and Drew, we saw uh, Alicia Fox. I thought they fired her. But did she get fired? I thought they fired her for like misconduct. Well, I know she's under like some type of like legends contract, like like all the others. Oh, okay. So she's, she's okay, like, okay. I, I guess you could t- call her retired, just as everyone else who uh, retires, as you could call it that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then Lisa yeah. Fox won the title. Yeah, I was like, yo, that's disrespectful though to the women's match. I'm like, yo, that's a Vince McMahon idea. They, yeah. He always like disrespecting the women low key in their matches, yeah, even though know. they could do yeah. great things. He's like, nah, you gotta put a man in there, then let him yeah. know. <laughs> take take the attention of the shine off of them for a little bit. Like that is, that shit was great. And uh. What's his face? Uh, I can never remember his name. The ball guy on the pre-show. He won the twenty-four-seven title, uh, distracting our truth with uh, a John Cena sighting, which we all know we can't see John Cena yes. either way. But yeah, our <laughs> truth fell for it. Oh jeez, <laughs> fucking! I I didn't think this guy. Um, going back to the room, I didn't think Kane was gonna show up in that shit. I was like, wow. Yeah, Kane. Hurricane, who else appeared in there? Um, Carlito, Carlito, Carlito. Man, that dude got Jack. Yo, he got yeah, he did. Big. <laughs> your boy, your boy came back uh, to go back uh, when Dean Ambrose came back. All those daddy memes came out. 
I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the daddy memes for Carlito because yeah, your boy came just out popping up. Thick. <laughs> he came they're thick. Gonna be popping up. I was like, wow, they got to be something in those apples he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> An apple a day, they say, right? Yep. Yeah. I was like, wow, he was in there. He was in there for a uh, pretty decent amount of time. Christian. Fucking Christian. Yeah, that was that a one nice was a big moment. One. Yeah. yeah, that was a good like yo. If there was like fans there, yo, like they would have been, they would have went nuts, bro. Christian yeah. showing up and then him and Edge having that moment. Goldberg looked tired as shit out there, bro. Like he looked. Goldberg's so been sick. tired since the Saudi Arabia <laughs> match with Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> He's still trying to recover. He's, it was. Yo, it was that match was just bad. I'd say it's a pretty pa- on par for a Goldberg match. I feel like if he goes too long, he, he starts dropping people on their heads, and that's not good for he, him. He needs to be in the like the spots, like the quick spots now. Just show up, take one person out like a heel. You know, do what they yeah. usually do to what they were doing to what's his name, um, Elias. Like whenever they give him the spot, and then someone come and snuff him out. Yes, yeah, like quick spots like doing. that. People, the fans will be happy to see him. You know, in and out. He don't need to have a title match or anything like that. Like, get out, get out. <laughs> yeah, I I was in the back of my mind. I thought Goldberg was gonna win oh, because same. of you know I was reading all these articles on yep. the internet and they were saying, oh, you know, Goldberg has like maybe like two or three matches left in his contract that he was gonna win the title, that he would be the only person to have all the the world heavyweight, the WWE, and the Universal will be that guy to hold that record yeah. and i was just like in the when they started off the match i was like oh man like goldberg was he was getting winded i was like man they, this yeah. match can't go on for too long nope yeah, I, just, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say i respect i respect goldberg your boy did so much work in the come-ups uh you know mm-hmm. he had he has his, like, there's some issues that he had with some stuff in the past like with not wanting to work with the smaller guys like jericho and whatnot yeah uh, or not wanting to lose the guys that i should say i guess but um but yeah now it's just like i watch him come out and it's just like why are you doing this like you're you're really old you're past your time for this yeah. business yeah like what was the the uh the Andre Giant Battle Battle yeah. Royal thing. Let him win that. You can let yeah, him win yeah. that. Let him win that. <laughs> let him win that. You know, then he'll feel great. He got like, I got a trophy at home. Yeah. Like, like by no me. means is he old, you know what I'm saying? But he's old for the business. Yeah, he, he has nothing else left to prove, you know? Yeah, he's he did his work. If anything, this starts to slowly hinder your your memory. Or, or the guy, kids like me who grew up watching wrestling at the end of his career or, or those who just missed his career. It's like, I remember Goldberg as being a monster. He's a scary dude. And now I'm like, he's just some old fart. <laughs> <laughs> he's out there for like two minutes and he's already sweating, rubbing sweat out his eyes. And I think that's how, you know, I think that's how Drew got the COVID because fucking Goldberg probably, you know, <laughs> came in there with that shit, got all up in his face, was sweating and spitting. <laughs> and uh, to go off, uh, I'm not sure if you saw, there was a quote he said, he uh, he feels like Undertaker said it to an interview, he feels like everyone's soft and you can't yep, give anyone. I did see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. You can't give these people criticisms, but I was like, Goldberg, you just said the same thing, like you basically verbatim said what the Undertaker said, yet not even a year ago, he was upset that matt riddle called him out on twitter yeah that's true like, you're getting upset that people are too soft you're you're kind of a softy yourself <laughs> but uh Man. yeah but uh no i, I, I was i was i was Maybe. scared like you that he was gonna that he was gonna take the belt off because that's what they did the past few years that he yeah i was it, actually i was like wow okay then yeah drew one i was like okay orton orton was gone for pretty much like the whole rumble I had a feeling he was gonna come back. I knew I knew that was gonna happen. I said to my I said to my brother because uh, he 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 didn't see the beginning of the rumble. He kind of just came in like midway through the match, mm-hmm. and uh, he he says um, he asked like what was going on. I was like, well, Edge and Orton started. Edge beat the crap out of Orton. Orton gets pulled off, and like I know he's gonna come back in. Edge is gonna be one of the last few guys. They'll eliminate him, and that'll be 
Edge versus Orton at WrestleMania this year. And apparently that's not what we're going to get because uh, Edge wins. And uh, I've never been more happy to see to see him uh, to see him finally get uh, everything we wanted him to do before he was forced into retirement. Exactly. It's it's such a great story. And I believe, you know, he deserved that. I, he deserved that win. Do you think he deserves that? You think he deserves that win? Did he need it? Were you expecting him to get it? I wasn't expecting him to win. Yeah, that that ending though, I saw the ending coming. Like the second he walked off, uh, I was like, "Yeah, he's gonna come back and ruin it for Edge or something. They're gonna forget about him." And, and then he ends up coming out. I go, "Oh, here we go. He's gonna <laughs> screw Edge. He's gonna win the Rumble, and then maybe like a triple threat thing with him in it." But no, they he eliminates Orton and the hands go up the bell rings and I, I, my my heart just erupted with happiness and I'm yeah. so happy I'm just so happy right now I feel like over the his career even though like it got cut short this yeah. is a nice thing like to build upon a legacy because he could the good thing is he could still wrestle he could still have athleticism. He's not like a Goldberg or Undertaker match where it's just going to draw on out and then mm-hmm. just show the motion. He can at least keep somewhat of a pace. I was shocked. I was like, I can't be- I really couldn't believe that they gave it to him. I was like, wow, like, yeah. he's really going to get his moment. Like, I thought like, this, this was is really building. happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I thought this was a spot build for Mania to give him a rivalry in. Now, like, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's good for storytelling, too. Like, you know, his, his career got cut short, and then he came back at the Royal Rumble, had his matches with Randy, got injured again, came back. And, um, yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm, inter- I'm excited to see where, where did it go with this. Roman or Drew? Who do you like? Who 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 would they give him to? Is my question. I think, I think he's gonna go for Drew. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. this would, to me, it would make sense for him to go for Drew. So that way we have another, you know, Seth who return at the Rumble, have Seth face. Roman at WrestleMania. We we do have Fastlane coming up, so we don't know mm-hmm. who's gonna you know who's gonna be the title holders or the number one contenders. But I figure Seth and Roman they could have that feud again. You know they have that history. But I, I like I don't know what if he's if he's returned as a face heel. He he, um, he looked kind of heelish, but it's hard to it's hard to tell for sure in a in yeah a, in a quick Rumble appearance kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I could, I, I would definitely like to see that. Uh, there was rumors back last at last WrestleMania that Vince wanted to do uh, Edge versus Orton for the title. Mm. So they could, at some point, I guess, take the belt off of, I would have to say Drew, uh, and put it on Orton. Yeah, but I, I don't, I don't see that being a good idea. He may win the title at WrestleMania and then the next night on Raw he like says oh I completed everything I wanted to do you know I got back no that's when the money in the bank gonna get cashed that Monday after Raw Mm, that is possible in the the back with a steel chair like oh no no and fall and one two three done (laughs) that's possible Uh, I I I gotta say that do you understand I don't understand why they had him fail at cashing it in and then they gave it to him. They gave it back to him. Yeah, I Did think they that realize they was, messed up, or yeah, I think they the way they did it, they realized that they screwed it up. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, I would have like the way it was during that triple threat, the the TLC match, and it didn't make any type of sense. He could have came out. After the match was over, he came out in the right middle. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I loved the Miz as champion before. You know, uh, I thought that was a great rivalry where he was like, "I beat John Cena 
and all people care about is John Cena versus The Rock. Yeah. You know, I loved I loved that whole rivalry, and, and I know a lot of people don't like the Miz or don't think he's that big of a top guy. But I'm like, put the belt on him. You know, maybe maybe throw the tag team titles on him at the same time. He can hold both. Give Morrison another shot with the Intercontinental title. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, have them hold the gold and have everyone pile on and hate him. You know, and they can lose them all at the same time, some weird way, or at some, like maybe have it build to like a Survivor Series style thing. Uh, yeah, I could it's see just that. they could do so much. They could do so much with with Miz having the belt. You know, and he's he's such a good he's such a good character. Like he's great on the mic, and he makes you hate him. Like. He's such a yeah. great heel. He's such yeah. a like he he can get under your skin, and he's like he's like oh man, I'm sick of this guy, but he it, gets Miz, you watching. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's, see, and this is my thing with uh, with the Miz. It's like he's the he's the heel that, or like when Seth Rollins was uh, WWE champion, he was a heel. Mm-hmm. They were heels that you wanted to continue to watch because them pissing you off was hilarious or it was funny to see the way they were yeah. every week <laughs> and I feel like that's a big problem with the heels now and why like like I, I'm not I can't I don't know something about Sasha Banks hit me about five years ago and her and Charlotte have hit me weird ever since and it's just like Sasha comes out and she talks but she's not an interesting heel yeah you know what I mean she's just kind of there and she's just kind of being mean and I'm like well you're not I can't I can't get into it you know yeah with, with her there's, there's really no character development with with how she's you know being a heel like there's no development there she's just yeah i don't there's nothing i feel like that's a problem that uh the main roster has is the nxt kind of gets forced to give them these guys or these girls and then the main roster goes okay cool well i already have like four of you already so we're just gonna have you do the same thing or, or Vince McMahon adds like a, a sound effect to your theme song and you become a vampire for some reason, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> I, all I know is I want to see when they showed up Carlito again. I was like, you know, what, we're missing good heels to just make everybody hate and hate. It's like, because yes. they always want to make, like, Roman Reigns is just, boo, boo, boo. It's like I'm tired of him, you know. Yeah, he says let him stay in the spotlight, but let these other heels like take the roles to make people hate again. Yeah, I would. I would like to see him back, like, like full time. You know, like kind of like you know how MVP came back. We thought he was just going to be in the Royal Rumble. And yeah. That was it. And then he yeah. stuck around. Nah. Maybe Carlito. I would, I would like, like to see a stable. I like Carlito and Elias. <sighs> Because oh, those two, those two, that would be a good combo. That would be like how, like the beginnings of uh, like the naked bar again. Yeah, like, but in some different way, which would be great. Yeah, I can see that happening. Like I, I, I just see a little bit of that staple. Like when he tells uh, what does <laughs> he's like when he tells everybody to sh- sh- sit down and shut up, and Carlito mm-hmm. pops in. Yeah, because that's and, cool. uh, <laughs> you know and then he spits in the apple in the guy's face trying to interrupt him he turns around boom uh, hits with the guitar yeah uh, yes oh that would be perfect <laughs> calling it right yeah. now if that happens this year JR we're calling it right now <laughs> yo that would be oh that's a good idea that's I like that that's that's <laughs> funny. yeah well, oh, man, Greg, I appreciate the time you have spent talking to me about hey, man. your thoughts on the Royal Roma paper nah, as man. well hey, as man. other wrestling topics. Thanks for thanks for having me on. I, it was a pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right, man. Well, yo, man, I, I appreciate I appreciate you taking the time out of your very very busy ass schedule. You I know. know. I know you. Now you got all, all types of busyness going on. And so hard. It's hard, man. It's it's it's, it's, it's crazy, you know. Uh, but yeah, man. Thank you. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! All right, bro.
Take it easy. All right. All right, you too. Room 013. Room 013.